little message about love. And I have a few verses that we will go through. Um, first off, he, he says that, he said, be tenderhearted, be kind, be tenderhearted one towards another, forgiving one another hath God for Christ's sake hath forgiven you. Nowhere in that verse does it say that people have to ask you. It says for you to forgive them. We get it confused as Christians. We, we think that we're something and we're sinners saved by God's grace. And we need to acknowledge that. And, and um, he said to forgive, we need to forgive without being asked. He didn't, there's no word in there about somebody asked you. He said, forgive. It says, by, by this we know that we love the children of God. When we love God and keep his commandments, are you doing what the Lord wants you to do? If a man say, I love God and hateth his brother, he is a liar, for he that loveth not his brother whom he hath seen, how can he love God whom he hath not seen? It says, if you keep my commandments, you shall abide in my love, even as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. That's what Jesus said. By this shall all men know that ye are my disciples, if ye have love one for another. Do you love your brethren? Do you pray for them? Do you forgive your brethren like God commanded you to? Do you bear their burdens? Do you take their burdens to the Lord and pray for them every day? The Bible says that we we need to examine ourselves. I can't examine Brother Herb, Brother Bob, Preacher, Brother Tripp. That, that's not what the Bible says. I need to examine myself and realize what God has for me and God wants me to do. Examine ourselves. We, we get this confused. We want to examine everybody else. It's us. Preacher said many times, revival starts the second God's children get right with God. It's the reason that there's not revival, it's us. We need to forgive one another and walk with the Lord and do what he wants us to do. We need to examine ourselves and at this time with this virus running around and everybody's afraid and this and that, we need to spend time with the Lord and find out what he has for us, what he's trying to teach me, myself, not somebody else. I need to know what he has for me. Let's pray. Dear Lord, I thank you for today. I, I thank you for the folks. I miss my brother. And I pray your hand to be upon them. Help us, help us all to see what you have for us and help us to live for you all the days of our lives. In Jesus' name, amen.